everyday people who are up for the challenge of a lifetime. This is your moment. Own it. The Titan Games premieres Thursday on NBC. Three hundred and sixty-five days. Over seven hundred fifty shows. Incorrectly answering. Two hundred and twelve million of those. What question? Six point eight million dollars given away. 7.7 .7 billion total minutes of gameplay and one exhausted host. Exhausted, but eternally grateful for all the HQ Unicorns, HQ Cumbers, HQ Unitarians, HQ Gooding Jr., Hoba Mexican Grills, HQ who have gathered daily at 3 and 9 p.m. Eastern, huddled around their phones in offices, schools, at home with family and friends right here. And what a long list of nicknames I've accumulated. I, your host with the Melba Toast, the Avocado Toast, the Hala French Toast, Regis Trilbin, Pat Slayjack, the Kosher Conan, the Meshuggah of Martindale, the Woke Woolery, the Hebrew Steve Harvey, the Bad and Bougie Barker, Rich Homie Dawson, Champagne Quiz Poppy, Askin Bronson, Hostface Killer, Lil HQZ Vert, Quiz Marquis, Quizzy Gillespie, Father John Quisty, the Quizzer of Oz, the Quizzer of Waverly Place, Jason Quizzeringhausen, Walt Quizney, Edward Quizzer Hands, Quizzy McGuire, Quiz Christofferson, Quiston Tarantino, Quizzy Borden the Ask Murderer, Lagatha Quisty, Quiz Khalifa, Host Malone, The Trap Trebek, Quiz Daddy, Scott Rogowski, coming to you live from beautiful downtown Manhattan, New York, New York. The Big Snapple, ka-chinging in the new year, with over a half a million of you live around the world, including Jersey City's fire department, Gabby Salson and her boyfriend, and some New Year's Eve birthday babies, Jamie in Hillsborough turning 5-0, my cousin Seth, 3-1, Denise, Hillary's son Henry, Lacey, and Frank's wife Sarah also turning 31 on the 31st. Also 31 weeks pregnant. Mazal tov to you. On tonight's end of year HQ party, we're hitting the rewind button on 2018. I'm asking about the who's who's and the what was that of 2018. You must answer 15 questions tonight to claim your prize. Ultimate NYE bragging rights plus a share of our cash prize, which tonight is $20,019. You get it? You see what we did there? You know, they want to go with $2,019. I said, no, let's make it $200,019. And they said, no. So, compromise. But it's not just about the money here in HQ. No, now when you play, you play for points too, which can help you win that money, because when you answer a question correctly, you earn points that convert to levels, which give you free passes through the quiz. Think of them as extra lives that never expire, giving you immunity up to the question that corresponds to your level. Our season, remember, our season has now been extended to January 8th, when we're giving out a brand new car, plus $50,000. How about driving off into that for the new year. Extra lives can be used tonight, any night, of course. They can be purchased at any time during the game, including right now, or if your resolution is to save money this year, just keep playing HQ for free, five days in a row, boom, you get an extra life. You can also refer your friends to get one, and maybe, just maybe you'll get one in a gift drop. Of course, you got intricate in words. Have you heard the word about words? Yes, you can use extra lives in words too. It's our brand new game. 
happening tonight at 9.30 and every night here in HQ. You solve word puzzles to win cash. Anna Roisman is our word nerd hosting every day at 9.30. And also, big surprise, tonight at midnight, Words is blasting out. You can ring in the New Year's with Anna and HQ on Words Midnight tonight, so keep your phone close. I'd like to solve the puzzle, Anna. All right, kids. It is time now to strap on your thinking caps and hype up your smarty pants for the last time in 2018. It is time to get down to quizness. Time to get quizzed by the rose on the gray. Time to quiz with me and get some money. Remember that song? Time to get down to the nitty gritty and get this New Year's Eve show on the road with 550,000 plus of you live right now for Kumaro. Numero uno. Beyonce's performance at Coachella prompted what nickname for the music festival? Bainaroo, based in city limits, or Baychella? Who runs the world? Bay runs the world. That most destined of Destiny's children shut it down in Indio, California with her two-day extravaganza performance at the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Fest back in April, making us wonder why they didn't just call it Baychella. Yeah, I'd like to enroll in Beyonce Academy. How do I apply? 436,669 knew their Baychella. I was at Bagelchella earlier in April. But I, I didn't... We got Q2! Internet users in 2018 were split over whether a mysterious sound was either Yanny or what? Lauren, Lola, or Laurel? Ah! You remember this? It was the dress of 2018, remember? White, gold, black, blue dress? It put an auditory spin on that classic. Was it Yanny? Or one of these L names? We'll let you be the judge! Laurel. 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 I hear Hardy. No, it's clearly Laurel. Come on. Yanny or Laurel. 398,853 not resting on their laurels tonight. Can you solve the mystery of Q3? But before I get there, while you're playing HQ, make sure you got your TV tuned to Fox tonight for their New Year's Eve coverage. I'm quizzing with Steve Harvey live in Times Square, and you might want to keep an eye out for a special hint that could help you win HQ tomorrow, our New Year's Day show. Wink, wink. So watch that to get the hint for tomorrow. Right now, Q3 by Domestic Box Office. Who starred 2018's biggest hit? The Rock, Michael B. Jordan, or Gritty? Who starred in 2018? How about that? A little typo to end the year. <laughs> Wakanda forever. Yes, Black Panther came, saw, and conquered the box office this year with a boffo $700 million gross. Hard to call it a breakout role, because he already had Fruitvale Station in Creed, but Michael B. Jordan killed it as Killmonger. Michael B. Jordan, women be shopping. And 230,000 be out of the quiz. Ouchie, wowie. The Rock? Really? Oh, you thought that was, what, Rampage? You thought that was the big? Oh, uh, no, it was Black Panther. 203,606 are going to be celebrating with a dinner at Michael B. Jordan's Steakhouse, perhaps, if you win. Q4, $20,019 on the line tonight. Rescuers overcame perilous conditions to rescue a team of boys from a cave located where? Switzerland, Thailand, or Greenland? Can't believe we lost about half of you there at Q4. Maybe your level will keep you in. It was the real life rescuers down under, not in Australia, down under a flooded cave system. 12 soccer players and their coach were stuck for nine days without food in total darkness. It was insane, but they were saved by Elon Musk. No, no, by an international team of doctors and divers, including Thai Navy SEALs. Why? Because this occurred in Thailand, the land of Thai. 327,726 got that right. So clearly a lot of you had your levels Coming into good use there at Q4, and you're diving into Q5. The internet was riveted this summer when what kind of creature climbed a skyscraper? Raccoon, jackalope, or wolverine? Look, we went over this twice already this year, okay? Jackalopes are not real. Wolverines are, but it's not the answer here. On June 12th, Offices and schools across the country were glued to footage of this little critter climbing a 25-story building in St. Paul, Minnesota. Luckily, the daredevil raccoon didn't get hurt. Raccoon! Did they give a name to that raccoon? Just the 
Just the the spider coon? Is that what they call it? Raccoon? I don't know. 295,346 of you got this right. You're not getting hurt either. You're surviving. You're rooting through the garbage for Q6. The popular Walmart kid first went viral by singing a song made famous by which artist? Hank Williams, Dolly Parton, or Johnny Cash? I got a feeling called the blues. Oh, Lord. Since my baby said goodbye. Mason Ramsey. Remember that little guy? He won over the hearts of a hardened nation by singing this classic country banger in the home goods aisle of Walmart. The yodel riffic lovesick blues by Hank. Williams! She'll do me, she'll do you, she's got the kind of loving. Maybe you're 164,429, you lay Such a beautiful dream. To an HQ, you might do it tonight, Q7. Which of these is not depicted in Banksy's shredded art project? Balloon, little girl, or a rat? We are past the halfway point on our final HQ trivia show of 2018. There's more HQ, there's words at 9.30 and midnight, but right now $20,000, 2019. A little 2019 for 2019, up for grabs, Q7. It's not a year in review without Banksy. The dude knows how to make news. This time, it was a piece of his art that sold for $1.4 million at auction and then immediately began shredding itself. The piece, Girl with Balloon. So there's no rat in that equation. 167,730. Yeah, little rats, you got this one right. A raccoon and then a rat? Does this quiz have rabies? What's going on? Q8, rats off to you. After an Egyptian sarcophagus was unearthed, thousands of people signed a petition to do what? Drink its juices, rebury it, or take selfies with it. Remember this, guys? It was discovered in July during a construction dig in where else? Alexandria, Egypt. The sarcophagus was opened and revealed to contain not some evil curse, but a couple of soggy skeletons stewing in a mysterious red bone broth. As of now, I just checked earlier, earlier tonight, 35,000 people have signed this petition to let us drink that mummy milkshake. So we can assume its powers, I guess. Drink its juices, 106,000 out of the quiz, cursed by the mummy, but the juice is loose on this brutal Q8. We got 60, thousand plus in the game for Q9. Which of these shark family members earns mention in the hit song, Baby Shark? Sister, grandpa, or brother? Is this one on your Spotify year and playlist? Is it? If there's a child in your life, chances are you cannot escape the jaws of Baby Shark. Baby Shark, there's also Mommy Shark, Daddy Shark, Grandma, and... Grandpa shark do 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 Oh, it's in your head just when you thought you got rid of that song. It's back in your head. 87,326 are running away. Do 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 To Q10, you escaped the baby shark. Which guest at Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding wore yellow? Amal Clooney, Cara Delevingne, or Oprah? Who stole the show at this one? Cara stole it at a royal wedding this year wearing a tux. She wore it better than me, let's be honest. But that was Princess Eugenie's nuptials in October, not Prince Harry's in May, where Amal Clooney wore a gorgeous yellow number to witness former suitcase girl Meghan become the Duchess of Sussex. From suitcases and rags to royalty. Suitcases and suits. What a year for Megan. 57,115. This could be your big year. You could be HQ royalty after tonight. Q11. Which of these TV shows was not canceled and then saved by another network this year? Once Upon a Time, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, or Last Man Standing? So two of these were canceled and then saved. One was not. Now, fans of certain canceled TV shows know. It's never over till it's over. Last Man starring Tim the Tool Man, stood on ABC for six seasons before Fox saved it this year. Brooklyn Nine-Nine was canned by Fox after five seasons, but NBC answered their 911 call. Once upon a time, however, 
had a fairy tale ending. It wrapped its seventh and planned final season in May. Not canceled. Doesn't need to come back. We saw the show. We know what happened. I never watched it. 46,738. This could be your time once upon Q12. What was so distinctive about the 2018 MLB AL Rookie of the Year? He was 35 years old. He played as a pitcher and DH, or he was the first Japanese winner. Oh, we got any baseball fans? I'm talking baseball. The oldest rookie of the year? Well, that would be Sam Jethro back in the 50s at age 32. First Japanese, that would be Hideo Nomo back in the 90s. And that was National League. American League, 2000. Yeah, Sazaki. But this year's AL, Roy Shohei Otani dazzled the major leagues by being the rare two-way threat. He played as a pitcher and a designated hitter. 63 Ks and 51 innings and 22 dingers as a DH. How about that? How about that, folks? 30,722. Holy cow. Mel Allen here. You're getting Q13 tonight. Which of Drake's 2018 music videos was set in Toronto? God's plan, In My Feelings, or I'm Upset. Mm, can you believe it? These were all dropped in 2018. Drake does not take a break. He was bouncing around Nola when he was in his feelings. And God's plan to hand out money to strangers, that went down in Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. But he made his Degrassi reunion at home in the T-Dot with I'm Upset. I'm upset. Half a million on my head I can't accept. Yeah. That drizzy needs to collab with Quizzy. Maybe we'll make that happen in 2019. 14,263 of you. Nice for what? Nice for Q. 14, the penultimate, second to last question on this last day of the year, Q14. Which of these is a real tweet Elon Musk tweeted this year? Earth is lame, what's Facebook, or bada bing? You know, all three of these would beg the question, what was this guy smoking? And what was probably the smartest thing he did all year? Real life Bond villain Elon Musk deleted the Facebook pages for SpaceX and Tesla in March, and when asked about it on his preferred social platform, simply replied, well, what's Facebook? Ooh, burn, big. I guess, I guess that's supposed to be a joke. 12,805, finding this question not so funny, but good to answer, because you got it. You came all the way down. You're ready for launch. Blasting off to Q15, the final question. On this final quiz of the year, it all boils down to this. Who don't got to dance? Who's making money moves for $20,019? Over half a million started the game. 12,805 remain for Q15. When Blue Ivy shushed her parents back at the 2018 Grammys, which performer was on stage? Ariana Grande, Cardi B, or Camila Cabello? Oh, those Grammys. Can you remember back to January, all the way? January was the Grammys. This viral moment captured Blue Ivy shushing two legends at the same time. Jay and Bay. I mean, it helps that uh, they're her parents. Why? Because she was trying to listen to ex-Fifth Harmony member Camila Cabello's speech about Tonight, dreamers. It is my great honor to introduce one of the greatest bands in music history, U2. And to introduce you to Havana Hunana on New Year's Day with you two and Camila Cabello. We got 7,736 of you. H Cuba Libre, you won, baby! Winner, winner, chicken lo mein dinner, or whatever you're feasting on on this New Year's Eve. 7,736 of you splitting our $20,019 prize on New Year's Eve. Big ups to Jub Jub 05, Yates, Chris, Dylan Horn, Jay, I, I, I don't know, J Seven, there's a Colorado Avalanche fan in there. What is it, Patrick Waff playing tonight? Congratulations, everybody. You did it. You won. You're spending New Year's Eve with HQ. There's more coming your way, baby. I want to do this thing and make it explode. Can we, can we do that? Is this going to work? This is like, this is super cheap. 
Oh, hey! <laughs> Happy New Year! Oh my goodness. Folks, thanks for playing. Thanks to our special partners at Google Assistant. Hey Google, Happy New Year, Happy New Year to all of you. And because you stuck around, we got a little New Year's Eve present for you right now. Forget the ball drop, we got a gift drop, baby. That's right, we're dropping a gift for the 50,000 you still in the game. Tap on that box, keep tapping, keep tapping, keep tapping. What's in the box? What's in the box? Did you get one? You did it? I hope you walked away with something there. That's from us to you. Truly, we couldn't do this without you here. The HQ, these around the world. Keep spreading the word. Keep telling your friends. It was an insane 2018. Who saw this coming? None of us saw this coming. Maybe you did, and you've stuck with us. So thank you for that. I've been Scott Rogowski, your host for tonight and so many shows this year, signing off on this final show tonight with some advice for all y'all for 2019. You ready? Three words. Don't sweat it. Okay? If you can't control it, don't sweat it. Don't get hung up on what Kanye tweeted or what Louis C.K. joked about or what your mom says about that sweater you like to wear. Just focus on what you need to do to get through your day. Okay? Life's hard enough without worrying about all the BS out there. And if you really want to get outraged about anything, if there's one issue to get stuck in your craw this year, make it Climate change! It's gonna be 60 degrees on New Year's Day in New York City tomorrow. Uh, that's not good. Climate apocalypse will destroy us all. Man, woman, gay, straight, white, black, all genders and races in between. We're all on this planet together, baby. And we're all gonna be donezo if we don't do something ASAP to combat carbon emissions. So ride a bike, eat less meat, pressure your politicians to wake up and smell the sulfuric acid raining down on all of us. But other than that, other than the climate, don't sweat it, all right? Be kind, be a good friend, and be a responsible global citizen. 2019, baby, this will be our year. Took a long time to come. Happy New Year, everybody! Yeah!